what's going on? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I am Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we have a review. This one comes from Hot Butcher for the World. This was sent to me from Hot Butcher. So I wanted to start out by saying thank you to all the good people at Hot Butcher. Uh, this is going to be double pepperoni. And this was in the last box that I received from them. This is Simcoe, Nelson, Vic Secret, and Citra. 7.5%. It was canned on October 17th. So this thing is almost two months old. And... Yeah, I'm excited to get into this one. I don't know the history behind this one. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, a combo of other beers or, you know, anything like that. But I'm really excited to get into it. Pouring extra, extra light and hazy. Let's move that up a little bit. I'll turn this around. All right. So, uh, as always, it looks absolutely gorgeous in this hot butcher glass uh, very very proper here uh, that's the way we like to do it with hot butcher uh, about two fingers worth of a creamy fluffy off-white head uh, beer is completely hazy uh, light golden color uh, maybe a tinge of orange in there but anyway let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing literally right Huh, okay, so it's not like insanely, insanely aromatic. It still smells nice, though. I'm getting some pineapple, some uh, like uh, grapey type of, uh, uh, I guess like the uh, uh, the flesh of a grape, something like that. In general, it's like a grapiness. Getting a little bit of stone fruit, like some mango. It's got a really bright aroma to it. A lot of orange, too. It's got some stock, uh, nice tropical fruit type of um, uh, feel to it. So it's like tropical fruit, stone fruit, citrus fruit. It's got a slight dank, herbaceous note to it. Smells really, really nice. It's just, I wish it was just a little bit more aromatic, but that's just nitpicking at this point. So let's go ahead and dive in. Cheers. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot more dank and herbaceous than uh, what I was picking up on the nose. <clears throat> it does have a bitterness to it, like right up front, piney earthy, um, maybe just herbaceous, all those things kind of uh, coming across in a bittering type of way. Um, it's got a, um, it's not super like sweet juicy. It's got this dry, um, almost just like underripe type of uh, fruity, like fruity quality to it, I guess you could say. You definitely get the Nelson comes across with that little bit of white grape, um, but it definitely has a dirty, earthy, like, vinous type of uh, dank quality to it as well. Aside from that, I'm getting some orange, some pineapple, a little bit of that mango. I'm even getting this, like, sort of bright uh, melon type of vibe. But yeah, orange, grapefruit. That herbaceous note is off the chain. It's like from the front of the palate all the way to the back. After the sip, it's just lingering on the back of your tongue. So this is a pretty dank beer. It's even like starting to remind me of a little bit of like a weedy type of aspect. Um, yeah, it's so it's juicy in like a way that it's just... I guess it's just lacking some of the sweetness that you would expect off the aroma. Uh, and it's got just more of like an underripe uh, juiciness to it. Still really good though. Is it one of my favorite double IPAs from Hot Butcher? Eh, probably not. Um, there's been a lot of really good ones. Um, to me, I just think this one, uh, I would want just a little more sweetness to it. Um, a little bit more of the hoppy, uh, you know, juicy sweetness. It's got a lot of dankness going on, though. Um, let's check these flavor notes here. So dank greens, 100%. Uh, 
candied citrus could definitely see that um, I definitely got the orange and like a grapefruitiness and then bright tropical I mean pineapple um, I still think I was picking up more of a uh, stone fruit type of vibe than I was pineapple but yeah still super solid um, to me uh, as far as a rating goes I'm gonna go 4.1 on this one um, it's solid uh, not my favorite. I've had a lot of really good ones from them. So, uh, you know, if you stack this up against a lot of the other breweries, this one's still going to come out on top. So, uh, I don't want it to sound like I'm hating on this beer because I'm not. I really think it's it's, it's really tasty. So, uh, but I'm going to go 4.1. So, let me know if you've had this one. Again, this is Double Pepperoni from Hot Butcher for the World. Would love to hear from you. And as always, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. I would certainly appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.